Hello everyone. Today we're working on part two of our winter landscapes. The last time we were here we painted a background where we blended blue into white so we could create different tints of blue going from a darker to a lighter so that we have our white snow. And then we used, we added yellow to our palettes and then we used our white and blue mixed with yellow and we got lots of beautiful shades of green. We used some texture tools. Um, the first thing we're going to talk about is some of you may not have left enough white. Sometimes when paint mixes, um, this would be a good example of one that went from a dark blue to a light blue. And we just don't have any white. So if you don't have any white, we're going to do one extra step and that's going to be to take some white paper and glue that down because we need the white to be our snow. You could use this sheet, you could use this sheet, and I tore my paper to make kind of this nice bumpy looking edge. You could cut it if you want to, and it could be a straight line, it could be a curved line. I kind of like the bumpy lines because sometimes snow will fall into different piles. And so if you have the white, you're fine, but if you don't have enough white, you can do this extra step of getting some torn or cut white paper, making sure that it's wide enough and that it matches up along the bottom. And then we're going to glue it on with white glue. If your glue bottle doesn't have air coming out, like mine doesn't have air coming out, you'll want to bring it to Mrs. Belzer and I can try to help you get some of that glue out. Okay. I'm going to find another one real quick. When you have a glue bottle that is working, what I want you to do is the ones with the blue tops, they have a bigger spout and so the glue tends to come out faster. So be careful and when we glue a big piece of paper like this, you just want to draw a line with the glue on the outside. So I'm going to go all the way around my snow. Just like that, and then you can put a little bit in the middle. You don't need a lot. It's just important to get the edges. And then you line it up. That's a big piece, it can be a little tricky. Line up the bottom corners. Okay. And then smooth it out so that it stays flat. There we go. So now we have our sky and we have our snow. And one last thing, if you wanted to do this, again, this is, you know, extra. And when we have extra steps like this, it, it offers you a chance to be creative. I grabbed a couple pieces of chalk pastel. And they're just little baby pieces. I have a dark blue and I have a light blue. I'm going to try with the light blue. And what I thought would be fun is just to shade with the chalk pastel, that top edge of the snow, like that. And then kind of rub it out with my finger just so that way it's a little softer and it kind of gives us that transition between light and dark so I just did a little bit of that and you could try it with the dark blue I'll try some just to show you the difference the dark blue matches my sky color a little bit more okay Kind of getting stuck in my glue this does work better if your glue is dry because it's getting a little gloopy there okay so when you're ready for the next step that's when we're going to take out our papers for our trees we're going to have some evergreen trees and so turning your paper over we're going to draw some triangle shaped trees and instead of a straight line across, you could try to do a curve to make it look like a cone instead of a triangle. You could also try to do some different shaped trees. And so draw a variety of trees on the back, different sizes, big size, small size, tall, skinny, and just fit as many trees in as you can, okay? and then you will cut them out. I have most of my trees cut out and I was gonna show you really quick this Christmas tree or evergreen tree. I cut just the triangle out around it and now I can take my scissors, I can cut in, pull them out, 
and cut across to get those pieces out. So any of the triangle shaped trees, you could add this extra zigzag detail just by using your scissors in a slightly different way. Oh, and I almost forgot. The other option is we do have our, I call them wavy scissors. You could take these to any of them and just add some details that way. All right, after you're done cutting them, this is the fun part. Now you get to turn all the trees over and see what you have. This is the fun part about when we paint our own paper because we just create such cool, interesting things. So you'll pull your picture down. And the trick to putting the trees on is that the trees that are bigger go down towards the bottom of the paper because they are closer to us. The trees that are smaller go higher towards that horizon line because they are further away. Another fun thing we can do with our trees is you can overlap them. Like if this tree is here in the middle, I could cover part of that tree up with this bigger tree. I'll do it again here. I can take this tree and this tree, and this one is closer to me. I know that because it's bigger, it's further down, and it's overlapping that tree. So have fun arranging your trees. And you can kind of, you know, move them around. And if you want to go back and do some more of these cuts, you can. And arrange your trees. And when you're happy with them, you will use the glue bottle and do the same steps of tracing the outside of the shape with the glue and sticking it on and pressing. After you have all of your trees glued down, you might realize that you're getting some glue on your hands. So best way to do that is just rub your hands together and the glue will kind of start to peel off. So that way we don't need to wash our hands. When you're done with this stuff, we want to go in now and add some individual details. Oop, I almost forgot. We need to add some trunks first. So I grabbed this paper from the scrap box and I'm just going to kind of cut almost like a fringe. There we go and get some chunks out and try to put bigger chunks with bigger trees and smaller chunks with smaller trees and match those up and give all your trees a trunk real quick. There, chunks are added, starting to look a little more complete. And now, as I was saying, now is the part where you get to add your own individuality, your own creativity. What else is going to go in this setting? You know, are you gonna add a little house? Are you gonna add maybe a sledding scene? Are you going to put people in? Are you going to put snowmen in? And so use your imagination, use some more scrap paper, and find some other creative things you can add. You know, maybe I could stick a house in. Maybe I can add little footprints or people making snow angels or a snowmobile. And just go ahead and put in all of those fun details using paper and glue and crayons to draw and add details. Enjoy making your beautiful winter scene.